Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chike. Today I'm at Nagoya Siri Science Museum. And um, I've been told that this is the largest planetarium in the world. A planetarium is a kind of a model or a representation of the solar system. So today, let's go scientific. I hope you enjoy it. Please come with me. I'm making inquiries about the English Guide app because Nagoya City Science Museum doesn't have any tour guide unlike other sightseeing spots in Japan. She's downloading it on my iPhone. It's better to use the app with a headset. When you use the headset, you can listen to the guide with your smartphone in your pocket. This audio app helps to explore Nagoya City Science Museum's exhibits even without an English speaking tour guide. I'm about to pay for the admission fee at the counter and the receptionist is telling me about the time for the presentation at the planetarium. I'm on the sixth floor of the Science and Technology Building. This is the planet Earth, reduced by 500,000 times of its actual size to exhibit space exploration on the outside and the subterranean environment and related explorations on the inside. Yeah, so this is inside the dome and um, they call it the brother head so we are waiting for the presentation but it's all in Japanese I'll try my best to interpret to you all right I hope you have fun they just announced that all cameras smartphones and audio recorders should be switched up before the commencement of the presentation this is the end of the presentation I thought um, they were gonna allow me to use the camera but unfortunately I couldn't use my camera but um, it was very interesting, very exciting. I saw real nature. 
and um, the way the sun sets and the rainbow, the way the day breaks, it was very fun. Wow. I'm so not happy, not so happy because you missed it. Well, that's okay. This is the fifth floor of Science and Technology Building. This floor is all about atoms and molecules that make up matter and the materials that support life from the various points of view. This exhibit comprises of a periodic table of elements. Here, you can see the details of each element from the periodic table and element name on the touch panel. So that's the touch panel. That is it, the touch panel. This is the Tornado Lab exhibit. The Tornado Lab is one of the four large exhibits at the museum. This tornado reaches a height of 9 meters. This is the largest artificial tornado exhibit in Japan. This exhibit takes the phenomenon of tornadoes that exist in nature and recreates it right before your very eyes. The explanatory show is about to begin, but it's not the That's the end of the presentation. Actually, this is 12 kg. So, if you try it here, you have to cook more. <laughs> 12 kg. So, if you put the 12 kg here, it balances with the power. This exhibit is the screw. It turns rotational motion into linear motion. This is the belt pulley. You can experience the pulley, one of the mechanisms that transfers power. So by turning a handle, you can deepen your understanding about the principle and application of the pulley.
this is the water exhibit the beautiful water exhibit This is a mock urban panorama inspired by the manufacturing city of Nagoya. The mock subway train and bullet train move by pressing the buttons. There are moving cranes in the town, as well as a shipbuilding yard, factories, and airport, all in the harbor area. This is the second floor of science and technology building. This is a place where the wonders and fun of science can be discovered through observing, listening, touching and working. This floor features exhibits which even children can operate and intuitively understand. Riding on this exhibit in turn powers the exploring the water exhibit. So as I'm riding on it, it's in turn powering the water exhibit. This is the end of this content. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching and you're yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button and also the notification icon next to it so that you can get notification whenever I upload my videos. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much. Once again, more interesting videos to come. See ya.